Hello my loves, I'm Ellie Frost. Thank you so much for being on my channel. We are talking about the multi-dimensional approach to rapidly and radically healing and transforming during and after narcissistic abuse. And I wanna to talk today about really what I think is the core trauma of narcissistic abuse and what to know and do about it, right? So when you're with a narcissist, you're a, what they call a source of supply. They siphon your energy, they erode you down into what they need you to be. They're a soul-detached human operating from an entity of consciousness that's highly destructive called narcissism. I've got other videos on that if you want me to explain it. Um, but here's the thing. During this cycle, the subconscious programming, right, will start off being that you don't matter that you don't matter, your wants don't matter, your needs don't matter, they don't get met. And so you start subconsciously kind of operating from not mattering. That will lead to feeling like you're not enough. That will lead to things like people pleasing, which is toxic. It's still a form of manipulation to get people to like us with a positive intention, but it still makes us a match to narcissists and makes us walk around life wearing a mask. I teach people about being authentic in your authentic power because when you don't matter, right, guess what? If you stay in these cycles and you, and you go through years of it, you start kind of feeling like you don't exist. And to a large extent, you don't anymore. What you dreamed about, what you care about, who you are doesn't exist. You're now a version of you that has been adapted, right, in order to be able to... <laughs> cope with a narcissist, right? So the subconscious programs, two very dangerous ones that they are implanting in your brain, which lead, I teach people, if I, if I, when I remove the root um, traumas with people, they don't um, exist anymore. There are a few root traumas that are caused in this cycle. Two subconscious programs, two very big ones are you don't matter and you don't exist, right? So if you are operating from those subconscious programs, what are you gonna do? You're gonna adapt your behavior to everyone else around you. For love, security, survival, support, validation, to get by, to survive. That's what you learn how to do. But where are you in it, right? I don't think there's many bigger traumas for the human being, right, because this is a soul level trauma, than not mattering and not existing. You came to experience your life as a soul. There's an essence to you. This is a core injury. This is what the narcissist destroys, literally. Their soul detached, they soul disconnect you. If you don't exist and you don't matter, if you don't really exist, right, you might feel like you're just existing and surviving in life, but you, who you are, your authentic self hasn't been cultivated, right? Nor does your ability to manifest, right? Because <laughs> you're not behind your dreams and your desires and your goals. It's no longer available to you. You're shelled out human. This trauma is one of the root suffering. The reason my program is called Sovereign because sovereignty is the answer. When you're a sovereign being, I am in myself. You can literally do that now. You can literally come back into your body, drop into your body, connect with your higher self, take up space, take up space in your body, as in a consciousness, take up space in your room, take up space in the world. When we allow or are manipulated or oppressed into our energy field collapsing, not only do we become sort of invaded by whatever they want to implant in our brains and kind of control our thinking and obsessing about them. If you don't exist, guess who does? Just the narcissist. What do you think about all day? The narcissist. What are they going to do next? What's going to happen next? What do they want? What do they need? How can you bend yourself out of shape into being who and what they, they need, right? This causes such a trauma in your body, right? And puts you into survival mode, complete survival consciousness, because you're not attached to you. You're not connected to you anymore, which is where all your power lives. When you come into sovereign, then you become a better manifester when you become sovereign, because you're in yourself, your full self. 
Every desire you have, I believe, every dream you have that's a true dream and desire is meant for you on this planet. I believe it, right? You know, this isn't a human torture chamber. You didn't come incarnated on earth to, for the universe and God to say to you, you're going to have dreams and desires. You're going to want love. You're going to want to create beautiful things, but this is a torture chamber. So you're just meant to want and go without. No, you're meant to learn to grow and to evolve and to become an energetic match, to become a great receiver of everything you want to become who you need to be to have the experiences you came to experience. But the narcissist shuts you down. Which means you can't attract the things you want because you're not you. You see, your authentic self is an energetic match to your true life, your true desires. Your distorted self isn't, right? This is the issue. So this trauma isn't just traumatic, it's a complete block on your true life, they steal your true life because you in your authentic self, it's not natural to not be authentic. It's not natural to deny our needs, wants and desires. If you think about little kids, right? Until they learn otherwise, when they go to the park or whatever, if you see them, they'll be on the climbing frames and they'll be like, mummy, mummy, look at me. They're not um, ashamed of themselves. They haven't learned to be embarrassed about being proud of themselves, right? They're just celebrating themselves. Your authentic self is a match to everything in your heart that you want, right? The narcissist shuts down your evolution and growth. They're a distortion on the planet, planet. they're a destructive energy, and they get in the way of your energetic match because when you come into you again, right, and your personal power, which comes from being sovereign, right? That you've, you're in your own personal power, you're in your own sovereignty, you start trusting yourself, you start knowing yourself, you self-partner, you back yourself, you're an energetic match to every single thing you want. Because that's the desires of your heart, your soul, and your authentic self, right? But when you're in this abuse cycle and we're not breaking three, you're not an energetic match to your desires. That's why they're blocked. I've got a few things for you, my loves. One is sovereign. I'm reopening it. This is a great journey. I've ex you get to keep it for life. It's got six modules, um, but there's pre-work to do. I'm opening it up. You, get, um, you have a week of pre-work. You need to do the pre-work because that's the um, processes and the energy clearings that you will use throughout the course, right? And then there's modules. So it's ongoing. I mean, I've still got people <laughs> that I'm talking to in the March one, but like, you get to keep the community in the group, but the work is really, really special. It will help you break the trauma uh, bonds. It will help you come into your sovereign self. It will teach you communication, manifestation, being in your standards, values, and boundaries, like really coming home to you. And there's energy clearings and activations, which are the fastest way that I know of to clear trauma. You can't outthink trauma. The problem is trauma's in your mind. And what the narcissist has done is put you in a mental mind trap and blocked your evolution. I've also got Live Fully Now. This is a monthly membership. It's just for people to plug in, get inspired every week, come into a community where I'm gonna give you tools to build your best life and keep you plugged in to growth, right? We need growth. I'm also doing, I do six weeks one-on-one -on -one with people, which is about healing from narcissistic abuse and you also get access to the Sovereign course. And I do life coaching packages with people, right? So contact me about those things. Listen to what I'm saying. You will not live a life that's happy and fulfilled when you're not you, when you haven't got you, when you're not in touch with your authentic self. It's impossible. Now, my definition of authenticity is being true to who I am, which is one part of it, right? And what I want and need. You need all three parts of that, yeah? It's, being yourself isn't just, you know my personality, it's owning my desires, it's owning my wants and needs, it's being able to speak up, it's, it's not being a people pleaser, it's not self-abandoning. These tools change your life and they also make manifestations effortless because things will come to you quicker than you could imagine because you in your authentic power is an energetic match to your, your ideal life. But it's meant for you, <laughs> not um, a separated version of you that other version is only a match to the narcissistic abuse, you see. So coming into our authenticity and our sovereignty also makes us an energetic match to our true lives. Not, not by trying to control it, by being strong, indefinite in our energy, in who we are, coming from absolute love 
and compassion in that because when you're not in defense mode and you can't be invaded, you can't be taken away from you, you can do it lovingly. You can express yourself lovingly with people, but you'll know who to let in, who not to, and how to communicate and express your boundaries and standards really beautifully so that you get to create your best life and you will be, you get resilient enough to go for your dreams because they feel like a natural thing to do, not just a big risk because now you trust yourself, because now you've got yourself. And when you're emotionally uh, regulated, you're able to take bigger risks because they won't derail your nervous system. But when you're in trauma bonds and narcissistic abuse, you're so scared of everything because you're in such survival. Everything is, uh, you know, any move just feels really, really too much because your nervous system's already overloaded, right? And any change is gonna take a big uh, hit. So clearing the trauma is the first step to becoming a great manifester, as is being sovereign and true to yourself. I'm gonna put the links in the description. Lots of love, guys. I'll speak to you soon.